That's where the aliens that's are. That's where the aliens are. <laughs> Everyone's like, that's where the aliens are, right? This is also sort of like a brand new breaking story. Yeah. Which is, again, another word, hints of atmosphere uh, on Earth-sized exoplanets raises hopes for life uh, in a new, another w, w, uh, James Webb Space Telescope finding. Yep. Um, everyone's excited about this because this is a paper on the TRAPPIST Ah, oh, Trappist One. Trappist One. Have you heard about this? Uh, so Trappist has been, again because I do the UAP stuff. Yeah, a lot of people are. Trappist like, One. That's where, the, loves. That, that's where the aliens. That's are. where the aliens. <laughs> Trappist One is um is a great little micro lab for solar system research. Okay? okay. The reason for it is um it's it's got a bunch of rocky planets mm -hmm. that are all transiting. It, the the problem with like finding planets is yes. it's incredibly hard to detect. Right. Think about think about how we find um. The planets, right? You were saying that you, you got to look at this thing. Yes. You got to look at the star and you got to look for the star's brightness to dim. Yes. And then you got to wait for it to dim again. Right. And then you have two and you got to wait for that third because then you know that it's rhythmic. It's, yeah, it's rhythmic. Right? right? If it's just two, it could just be two random things going in front. Right. right. Or whatever. And then, you know. Right. Um, so you, you have to wait for that. Yes. The other thing is you got to get lucky, right? Right. The solar system has to be on edge to our field of view. Mm. If you've got a star over here and the solar system is doing this, we, it won't pass in front. It's no, never going to pass in front That's and I'm never going to see point. it. Right. Right. And so the solar system has to have that exact angle right, right. of being like in our line of sight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. It can't be up here. Like angle. So you've got to be incredibly lucky. This That's thing is not only on edge, yeah, yeah. right? It's got like a bunch of planets yes. that are all on edge yes. that are that are doing this transiting. Yes. Also, the transits are very, very short from mm. one and a half days to 19 days. This goes back to what we were talking about earlier. If there was an alien species looking at Earth, our transit times a year, a year, they'd, they'd have to keep staring at the sun. They'd probably see Mercury mm -hmm. and, right. and, and then they'd be like, oh, there's no there's, there's no, no atmosphere on this thing. Right. And then give up and then give up. Right. And but they'd then they maybe they'd see Venus and they'd be like, that's got a hell of an atmosphere. You know? Right. But like, yeah, Earth, they'd have to wait 365 days. Just for once. Mm -hmm. And then they'd have to wait two more years two, to get the yeah, three. Yeah, two more years to get all three. So the fact that the transit's just a couple of days. A couple of days to like 20 days. It's huge. The other, the other great thing is, so Trappist has a bunch of these planets, right? Yes. So imagine you've got a star like this and you've got a bunch of planets, yes. right? Now, where the habitable zone is, yeah, yeah. it's kind of nebulous, Okay. right? It's like we don't know exactly the there's no like hard line yeah, yeah, yeah. of that Goldilocks zone. Yeah, yeah. Because we've got all of these in a line, even if the habitable zone is here, yeah. there's gonna be a few planets in there. Yeah, yeah, even yeah, if the habitable yeah, zone is out here, yeah. there's gonna be a few planets in there. So it's like hedging our bets on all of these planets. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Trappist One is very okay, exciting to okay. us. Okay.